The sound pane provides you with settings for your sound effects, what speakers are used for output, and what is used for sound input. Choose your alert sound in this list simply by selecting it. Alert sounds are usually played when you try to do something you can't, normally because there is a dialog box needing your attention. You can also select your alert volume independently from your general output volume on your Mac. It's usually nicer to have it set a little lower. If you have Play User Interface sound effects selected, you will hear the effects for dropping files and folders or the sound poof animation when removing items from the dock. At the bottom, you can set your master output volume. And if Show Volume in Menu Bar is checked, then you will always have the ability to adjust your volume up here in the menu bar. The Output tab is where you can select where your sound is played from. Currently, I have headphones selected as my output. I also have a set of SoundStick external speakers available. I can select the output volume for each of these independently. The input tab is very similar. If a microphone is connected to your Mac, it will appear here. I have my USB mic selected to record this screencast. Now in Snow Leopard, it's possible to set audio input and output directly from the menu bar. Just option click on the sound icon in the menu bar, and then select the output or input device you want to be used. This is great for switching from headphones to speakers on the fly.